While the Coral Creek Airport Boca Grande Jet Center is a private airstrip reserved for its own clientele, a troop of unwanted visitors recently made their way onto the property, causing multiple instances of damage and the theft of thousands of dollars worth of expensive diesel fuel. They stole a pump off our fuel tank and we think they used that pump to uh, pump fuel from, from vehicles, which, is, uh, you know, which was the, the biggest part of the theft. The Jet Center is currently in the midst of an expansion project encompassing a large stretch of its 200-acre property. Between the jets and the construction trucks, there's a great deal of fuel on site, but the thieves fortunately didn't have the opportunity to do more damage than they already did. We also think that they were uh, walking around our, our hangar, maybe looking to gain entry into the hangar, and the hangar building was locked so they couldn't gain entry. In what appears to be a targeted crime, the thieves made entry onto the property by cutting through a wire fence that fronts Gasparilla Road. Once inside, during the late night hours of May 20th, they went to work. They seemed to uh, know where to gain access and not be seen. Where they came through the fence, it, they wouldn't have just come to it. I think that they, they scouted it. They definitely uh, knew what they were doing. They, um, knew the location, where to go in and cut the fence. They had to have those types of tools. This type of crime very rarely happens in Charlotte County, and the owners are so determined to find out who's responsible that they're offering up a $10,000 reward for the arrest of the persons or persons responsible. We're serious about apprehending these guys. Um, we don't want it to happen again. Detectives believe the suspects used at least three large trucks, two of them being duallys, to get in and around the property. However, the wet grounds, thanks to recent rains, left them in a bit of a conundrum when they went to leave with the trucks full of stolen fuel. They actually utilized one of the uh, mini front end loaders that's here at the scene to um, dig their stuff out of, the, out of the mud. While repairs are still being made at the airstrip, they're back to business as usual. Airport owners are hopeful that someone in the community will have information or even overheard people talking about the suspects so that they can be brought to justice. I think the guys that probably uh, 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 were responsible for the crime don't realize how serious it is when it's on an airport. It's serious business. For Southwest Florida Crime Stoppers, I'm Trish Rout.